Be Wealthy and Smart, episode 1230. into a world of wealth and financial freedom without budgets, boredom, or bosses on Be Wealthy and Smart. And now, here's your host, Linda P. Jones. Welcome to Be Wealthy and Smart. I'm Linda P. Jones, America's Wealth Mentor, empowering women and men worldwide to financial freedom. On today's show, we're going to talk about home prices are back to breaking records. That's right, and I think the the trend is going to take them even higher into the next few years into a spectacular speculative blow-off top. Now recently, with interest rates going up so much and so quickly by the Fed, many people were saying that the real estate market for homes was doomed, and they believed that the market would crash. But I didn't, and I still believe that the market is very strong, and currently, this article I'm going to share with you, says that home prices are now back to breaking records again. And that's according to a home price index tracked by mortgage data company Black Knight, which showed that home prices were 0.8% higher in June than they were in June of 2022. That was an all-time high for the index, and it was the first time in 15 months that prices were higher year over year, putting an end to a trend of cooling prices. Black Knight data also added evidence that the housing market has avoided the crash that some had predicted in 2022 after the Federal Reserve began raising its benchmark interest rates. Even as many would-be buyers were driven from the market by the decline in affordability recently, the number of homes for sale has remained so low that it's half of pre-pandemic levels, according to Black Knight. Also, many homeowners don't want to give up their low interest rate mortgages. Having a low interest rate mortgage, of course, means you're paying less to the bank in interest. Giving that up for a higher interest rate would mean higher interest payments. And and with more money going toward higher interest payments, that means your money purchases that much less of a home. That's kept homes off the market and it's kept prices from falling very much because there's just no inventory. And while prices are gaining again, we're just starting to creep back up. It's not back to the frenzied days of the pandemic, although I do think that is in our future once more. And that's because usually after the Fed has raised interest rates too far, too fast, they have to take them back. And that is somewhere in our future, possibly later this year or early next year, in my opinion. We also have the trend of more people working from home and not having to go into the office. And that is has also contributed to prices rocketing up 45% in a little over two years. According to CNN, a low supply of homes to buy, especially in affordable prices in popular places, is keeping sales low and prices high. Total housing inventory at the end of June was 1.08 million units, which is identical to May, but down 13.6% from a year ago, according to the National Association of Realtors. Prior to the pandemic, there were nearly twice as many homes on the market. Unsold inventory sits at a 3.1 month supply at the current sales pace, up from three months in May and 2.9 months in June, 2022. We still have the ratio of existing homes for sale to new homes for sale, typically five to one, with the inventory of new homes for sale pretty robust at about 428,000 in May and existing homes just over 1 million, The ratio is closer now to two to one. According to Lawrence Yoon from the National Association of Realtors, he said that the biggest change in the market that would shake loose inventory would be for mortgage rates to drop. Some experts have said that it would take a 5.5% interest rate for homeowners to feel okay about giving up their lower rates. He said homeowners are loving their 3% interest rate they bought or refinanced into, Even if they're buying a same-priced home, their monthly payment would rise by about $1,000. If the pain of giving up the 3% is less severe, more people will be willing to sell. He also said building new homes and converting unused office space into housing are ongoing efforts to help supply, but those take years to be usable. 
But, he said, there are some housing policy adjustments that could free up some housing inventory in the short term. He also said he'd like to see a temporary capital gains tax relief program for investors who sell property to a certain category of buyer, like a first-time home buyer. He said there are about 20 million single-family rentals owned by mom-and-pop investors. Maybe some of them would take the opportunity to sell with a tax incentive. You know, that's a really great point. And it's not just mom and pop investors who own homes, but BlackRock, according to reports, has been buying up many homes around the country. That plus the trend of Airbnbs, I think really has people buying real estate more for investment than we've seen in prior years. That's really shifted the trend for more people to own it and for fewer people to want to sell it. If it's generating money for you and rental income, then you're more inclined to keep it because it's helping to pay off your costs. But the good news is we're not seeing a housing crash. And although there were so many people calling for a disaster, we have not seen that disaster. We have low inventory, we have prices holding, and now going to new all-time highs. And once the lag time for the interest rate hikes that the Fed has given, really hits home and slows the economy so dramatically, the Fed will want to lower interest rates. Later on this year or into next year is when I think that's going to happen, which will send the housing market into a frenzy again. If you haven't yet subscribed to Be Wealthy and Smart, hit the subscribe button and you'll be notified as soon as new podcasts are available. And all of my podcasts are on my website at lindapjones.com forward slash podcasts. And while you're there, sign up for my weekly newsletter for more wealth tips. That's all for today. Until next time, live the good life and be wealthy and smart. Thank you for listening to Be Wealthy and Smart with Linda P. Jones. Share the wealth and tell your family and friends about the show. Check out our website, blog, and social media for more riches at www.bewealthyandsmart.com.